G'day everyone, it's Adam Brown here from ISW and Kudos. I just wanted to record another video for you to show you some of the awesome new features that we've added recently to Kudos Boards. Kudos Boards uh, enables users of Connections activities to visualize their activities in a far more intuitive and productive um, interface in the style of a Kanban board and we find that this enables users to uh, really leverage the Connections Activities feature um, to, to get their work done. But let me jump across to uh, my Connections environment and I will navigate through to the uh, Kudos Boards application. Now you can see here all of the uh, activities that I'm working on um, and I'm able, as you've had before, to sort and organize them. I can color code them. I can sort them based on my own personal categories. This helps me better organize and manage um, the way I want to sort and focus on the boards or the activities that are important to me. Um, one of the great new features that we've added is uh, these progress bars. So this is handy because it gives me a quick snapshot of how the different activities are progressing. I can see the green obviously indicates completed tasks, um, red is anything that might be overdue and, and white is still uh, tasks yet to be done. Uh, so that's a nice new feature. Um, I can drill down obviously and, and just um, sort by the categories so I can see here are the tasks or uh, the activities that I'm using to sort of manage um, some of my work and I can also of course access my most important boards always at the top via the um, pinned boards uh, uh, view. So one of the other features that we've added recently is that when you create a board you have the option of um, leveraging um, a board or an activity template. So I know I've got um, an RFP um, for the TAS government that I need to work on at the moment. Um, I'll leave the description and I'll just put in uh, RFP uh, as a tag at the moment. But what I can do now is I can actually pick it from my uh, activity templates. And so if I search I know I've got one here for responding to an RFP. When I save that, it goes away and it creates the activity for me. And you can see that it's pre-populated with um, all the details to get me started with that particular board, which is, which is really handy. Um, another of the features that we've created um, recently is what we refer to as linked boards. So if I just jump into this uh, My Current Task Board here, um, I can coming so I use this board to manage my day-to-day -day work so I've got things that I need to, to do things that I've organized for today things I'm going to do tomorrow completed things you know next week whatever it might be and this is just a nice easy way for me to be able to drag and drop and move my tasks around to manage my work now what I can do with the new linked boards feature is when I add a card Previously, I've obviously been able to add a to-do or an entry, but I can also add a board. So this can either be an existing board or an existing activity or one that I want to create new. So, for example, the um, TAS Government RFP, um, I can create a card for that and go to um, a linked board and I can either create one or I can actually go and search find the board that I just created before and it, and it creates what we call a link. Now I can go in of course and edit that card just like any other card. I can add the description, I can tag it, make comments and add attachments, color code it, all of those tasks that you could do before. But <coughs> I can also link directly to the board. So this is fantastic because previously if I wanted to do this I would have had to have built um, quite a complicated card that had sub to do's and sub entries and, and what have you and often when you're in an activity or a board not everybody is interested in all of the intricate details of a particular project so this enables me to link off to an associated board if you like or you think about it in the same way as we have communities and sub communities so here we have um, activities and sort of associated activities so that's uh, quite handy. I can also of course um, create a brand new board so if I add a card here um, obviously um, we're coming over to uh, Connected 2015 and I can create a board to help me manage that so I will just create a new board um, tasks to get organized for Connected 
and I'm not going to use a template this time I'm just going to start with a blank board so obviously um, getting there will be one section um, while we are there and then I'm planning to go to New York City afterwards so I will add that as a task afterwards so obviously I need to organize my airfares and travel um, accommodation um, I'll just go in and edit that typo right so it's all very very quick and easy so I think this year the plan is to stay at the Dolphin so I'll just add that comment um, in fact I can view the details here I've actually already booked the accommodation so I will tick that task off uh, while we're there we obviously are going to go to kimonos um, we need to catch up with fellow IBM champions you know you get the idea um, schedule customer meetings right and I can very quickly organize um, that board now if I close that board and come back I can move that task around um, I'm gonna do a bit more organizing on that today in fact I'll convert that to a to do um, <coughs> and you can see how it works and I can sort of have that overall um, link but I can always navigate back to the full um, board when I uh, would like to so look there's a lot more um, that we've added to kudos boards, but they were some of the highlights that I wanted to demonstrate for you We'd love to catch up with you um, if you'd like to see some other videos or get in touch uh, Please just look at our website, which is at kudosbadges.com. Thanks for your time